How do you become a wrestler? The same way you become a doctor. You go to school. Thank you for calling Pacific Coast Sports, home of all pro wrestling, Jim Moore's, and the PW Bootcamp, the number one pro wrestling training camp in the country. So I went to all pro wrestling, a school and independent promotion in Haywood, California. Most wrestling schools are run by wrestlers. This one is run by an accountant, Roland Alexander. I don't guarantee them anything except an education in pro wrestling and, and, and make a better person out of them, you know, improve their character. We try to run APW more like a family thing. I don't, I don't want steroids. I mean, if our guys don't have bodies, they don't have bodies. That's it. Roland has had some success. Two of his graduates have gone on to sign with the WWF. Very good, very good. Hi, I'm looking for Roland Alexander. That's me. Your name? I did. I'm Ben Siegel. Ben Siegel, good to meet you. you know, I'm going to tell you something that, that, that you might not like. Uh, there's no money in, in, in pro wrestling on the independent level. I mean, yeah, you're going to make anywhere from 25 bucks to maybe, you know, 100 a quarter. Uh, sometimes if you're real good, you can make as much as 300 wrestling for an independent promotion. But really, where the big money is is with the major leagues. And not that our product isn't major league. Uh, you can't tell our fans that, you can't tell our wrestlers that, but we're really a minor league feeding system with WWF, WCW, uh, and ECW. Are you aware of the proper way of eating is? Like, are, are you conscious of looking at labels in the back of labels and looking at fat content? And yeah. Stay away from the jack in the boxes. And I don't care if you got good credit, bad credit, no credit, everybody applies. We have a rule around here you don't pay, you don't play. Okay? Um, so. How soon are you ready to make a commitment? Are you ready to make a $500 deposit in the next couple weeks? By the way, anybody that needs to make payments tonight, make sure you get them out of the way. I'm going to be out of town tomorrow. One of Roland's most promising students was Tony Jones. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. I'm tired. Just got off work. Yeah, I know how I work, guys. I work at Visa right now. I've been working at Visa for about two and a half years, and I'm pretty content there. I mean, I make, I make pretty good money. Yeah, I'll come back. I usually get about $25, $25 to do a gym more show. I take all the damage for $25 and um, I use the experience to try to better myself and get out of there. Don't get me wrong, there's times when we don't get paid at all. $25 sometimes is a privilege. He tells you that he doesn't pay you unless he feels that you had a good match and you're worth it. They get paid after every show and they're loving it, you know, and, and, and they're getting paid well. I, I really believe that I'm probably the best indie promoter as far as payoffs are concerned. You know, there's no excuse for not paying someone. You have to be a prick in this business. If you don't, the wrestlers will run all over you. Their egos are such and, and, and their character is such that they will just walk all over you. So if you think you can be a nice guy and be a successful promoter in professional wrestling, you better get out of this business right now. See, James, you went in like you are going to give him a blowjob. Your, your face was right in the middle of his pelvis. Mike Modest was Roland's golden boy. Therefore, Mike was given a room above the gym. How long have you been living here? I've been living here for about, uh, for about a year, year and a half. Not making a killing in wrestling, Mike supports himself by working for a local funeral home, picking up bodies. I don't fool myself. I'm very realistic about uh, wrestling in the United States, that Japan would be the place for me to go. Because in Japan, they still appreciate the sport side of it. Whereas, you know, in the U.S., it's become almost completely um, entertainment in Hollywood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to APW Tim Wars. The night I was there, the boys wrestled before a record-breaking crowd of 112 people. Fans are close to the action, sometimes too close. Like this guy in the uh, green shirt who spat on a wrestler. This guy here, his real job, mechanic for United Airlines. I'm calling you up right now, motherfucker. Meanwhile, it seems like he's got pretty good timing. I showed footage of Mike and Tony uh, to Jim Ross back at the WWF. And it seems like he's he agreed to give them a tryout. Mike Modest has been ready for a year. 
and it's it's sad. My class is two, 215 pounds, and he's too big to be a flyer, and he's too small to be a heavyweight. And for him not to have a contract is a travesty. Tony, Mike, and Roland's big day had come. They were about to get their tryout with a WWF. Tonight, you're probably going first or second early. Don't get nervous because the people are not going to know who you are because you haven't been on TV. So the most important thing is you're telling them the story and they're not telling you the story. So even if they don't get with it, with it at first, don't get going too fast. You, when you go too fast, you start making mistakes. So the ring's bigger, the ropes. Looser. Uh, looser. It counts off the books like I usually do. I gotta work it more. It's kind of an amazing uh, sight. You know, I, you know, I, I, when I first walked in today, I said, "Jesus, God, this is so big and so complex." And the PPW never gets to that point. I, I always just picture myself just being content with a small regional promotion in Northern California. But who knows? You know, who knows if what will happen to APW? But you know, this. Is, Kind of an amazing sight. Jones, going out first, modest, second with music. Okay, wait till I send you. I think Roland was even more nervous than Tony and Mike. That's because if the WWF signed his boys, Roland would receive 20% of their contract. What do you guys think so far? I think he's doing good. Most of them. Oh, look. First time I've seen Tony in person. That's a nice bridge. Nice wrestling move for a change. Yeah. I've never seen Tony either. I've seen Michael's. Yeah. Modest, Modest is pretty solid. Jesus oh, Christ, I think maybe we need a little work there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes! I gotta run. You can get a video tape? Yeah. Good. Tony's got a big frame. He's working on his upper body a little bit. The people are not crucifying him, even though they don't know him, which well, is good. Because I told them that always throws the guys off. They're giving us what they got. That's all you can ask. What how old uh, Tony is? What is it? Oh my God! I've never seen that one before. I have never seen that. Before. Well, it's pretty spectacular. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Steal it? Huh? You gonna steal it? Right. I like the effort. I love the effort. Well, thank you. Did a, did a nice job. I was very impressed. Appreciate it. Both of you guys. Thank you. We'll look. Uh, we'll, we will. Uh, I'm sure we'll be looking at this tape. Okay. And you never know what comes out out of it. Hope it's good. Work on your arms and you might and get, get something that's a bit more flattering for you. A little bit more mass on the upper, 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 you know, upper, upper arms. Yeah. You're going to be, then you get in the hunt. And you're not going to hit it. I, I knew that's, that's it. Did you reach go home? Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, go home. Go home. Some of the boys are already saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to steal that move. I'm going to steal that move. <laughs> I think the overall reaction was um, Tony's got a lot of potential. Honest is ready. I think that was the overall reaction. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kind of nerve-wracking out there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> the sands have been probably, you know, the most nerve-wracking couple minutes of your life. Yeah, you know, yeah, it was. There. It was. Yeah. Roland and the boys left that night excited, their expectations high that they would soon hear from the WWF. <laughs> 